Thank you. I would like to take this opportunity in the first minutes to congratulate LACNOG on the 10th anniversary. And I hope these will be many more because the network operator group are very important for the development of the internet. We have seen this. And let me remind you that Internet Society is a space of possibilities and opportunities. This allows us to collaborate and innovate for a better world. We are aware that part of the world population does not should have access to the internet and we're working for the other half that use the internet can do this in a more safer way and this is part of our 2020 action plan one of the projects that we are working on to make internet more secure and more reliable is manners namely the mutually agreed norms for routing security so in general terms, MANNERS seeks to improve the security and reliability of the global routing system of the internet based on the collaboration between the participants in such a way that there is a shared responsibility regarding internet development. What we seek with MANNERS is to establish a new standard for routing security. Initially, MANNERS counted on the program for network operators, which are for actions. These are the ones that are most known, anti-spoofing, global coordinating, and global validation. But later on, we started seeing that much in the same way as network operators are reference, local reference of the technical community, the traffic exchange points for the internet, the IXPs are also substantial elements for this purpose. The idea is to ensure the resilience of the internet. More recently this year, we announced the program for content distribution networks for cloud services providers. Thomas already shared his experience with us on the implementation of RQPI and how this could help him to join manners. What we have seen is that these programs set up a strong community, a community that shares its points of view and works to make internet more secure. This year, responding to the changes, or rather as a result of the pandemic that we are experiencing worldwide, we decided to implement the ambassador and fellowship program. This is called the Manners Fellowship Program. We have four ambassadors. They are experts from the internet community that are part of organizations that already participate in Manners. These ambassadors guide the fellows. We have 13 fellows who were selected after an open call in the community in coordination with uh, the guidance of manners and the one of the substantial differences between the ambassadors and the fellows is that whereas the ambassadors are part of participating organizations of manners the fellows can be part of an organization that can or cannot participate in manners so what we seek is to have emerging leaders in the community and that they are well informed about routing issues that they are already working in each of the three categories of the program. This year, the program has three categories, one for training, one focused on research, and the other one on a policy analysis. Fortunately, in Latin America and the Caribbean, we have many experts in terms of routing. We've seen that uh, this week, and we've seen that in all our interactions in our mailing. And fortunately, we will have fellows in the three categories. As a matter of fact, it is very likely that if you look for uh, manners and trainings to implement the actions uh, that we promote, these trainings be off are offered 
in this case by the fellows, Carmen Denis and Ilia Solis. As a matter of fact, now they're working in Mexico with an institution that uh, gathers uh, public and private universities and they are also working hand in hand with LAC IX to implement actions between the LAC IX uh, uh, members. So the research, the research group started uh, debating things and they realized that there are many things that maybe they could, uh, 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 could become a hurdle for potential manners uh, uh, participants to join the program. As I said uh, earlier, the original uh, program is focused to uh, network operators that uh, seek to promote uh, security of routing. And so this survey is focused on measuring the key obstacles, both at a technical and organizational level of the organizations that might join Manners and haven't done that yet. This, the results of this survey seek to report better the efforts in the training part, not just by the fellows of the program, but any other interested uh, stakeholders that seek to offer training, regardless of whether you want to join Manners or not, but uh, that uh, are interested in strengthening security of the routing system. So the survey is almost ready. It's going to be ready by the end of the month. And it's focusing on measures that uh, reduce the risk of occurrence of uh, routing accidents. And also, the it will measure the degree of um, uh, prep preparedness of uh, the uh, uh, organizations to see when uh, accidents happen. And it will also um, uh, see uh, the use of uh, RPKI validators. And last uh, month we had uh, a training uh, course to, uh, on Ford with Mexico and LACNIC. And the key uh, barriers for adoption, technical, economic, and even personal resources, or with the organizational culture or the organizations, even from a business perspective. This survey will aim at potential participants, that is, network operators. With Manners, we insist a lot that they may be part of the initiative and uh, any organization with assigned number of resources, that is, if they have a block, uh, an IP block uh, allocated, they have an autonomous system, they can act. They're, they're, there's no need for you to be a commercial operator, you can be a university operator, any other kind of operator that has uh, uh, been allocated resource numbers. And we're going to promote this through Manor social media. We are usually there in on Twitter, um, YouTube, and we work hand in hand with uh, the Global Sign Alliance because they are also trying to implement a survey to help map these needs. So if you're part of an organization that uh, has contact with uh, the Global Science Alliance or with the Internet Society, you're going to receive the survey. You're, you're going to hear about it through, through the social media and the mailing. And basically what we'll try to do is to have open and transparent results to bet to, for more better informed uh, decisions to improve the security of the routing system because we know we are very aware that the security of the routing system needs to be addressed together it is this is a shared challenge and that is the, the spirit behind the initiative behind manners so that is it's the community itself that will inform on the decisions of the project and the, and decide what are the programs that would be necessary and even what actions can be implemented. More information is available in www.manners.org. These are our social media, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And here you have my address, rosas at isoc.org 
or here in the Q and I. And again, my compliments to Lucknow for this 10th anniversary and Lucknow for this very successful online event. Thank you, Israel. That was an excellent presentation. We have a few minutes for questions. The Q&A panel is open. Let me remind you that this presentation and the rest can be found in the website of the event. Now, Diego de la Vega asks, do you have to pay to participate in manners? No, that's a very good question. There is no cost involved to participate in manners. As a matter of fact, we are not aiming at any costly actions or even linked to specific vendors. We are trying uh, people to implement good uh, practices, the best practices in any autonomous system. Any autonomous system may have those resources. And joining manners is just only requires filling a form and it's free. <laughs> 